So the monument here commemorates the crash of Wirraway Aeroplane A20-265 which crashed here on the 4th of April 1942 and caused the death of the two airmen on board. Wirraway A20-265 went into service in May 1941 and on April 4th 1942 crashed in fog into the hills near Lima South in the Strathbogie Ranges en route from Tenelequin in New South Wales to the RAF base at Laverton. The two airmen Leading air craftsman James Walter and Sergeant Noel Wilson were killed in the crash. The inscription on the monument has incorrect details about Sergeant Noel Wilson. The wreck was retrieved and used for components to keep other aircraft flying. So the Wirraway was actually a, um, an Australian built aircraft. It was based on the design of the um, North American NA-16, um, built by uh, the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation down here at, um, in Melbourne. Wirraway actually means uh, challenge in Aboriginal, so they're trying to keep the Australian theme. So Wirraways were actually a metal frame design with a fabric skin over them to make them fairly light. They were, their purpose was as a general training aircraft, but they could also be used as a combat aircraft fitted up with guns and light bomb racks. So what we're going to do now is grab the metal detector and have a bit of a fossick around here and see if we can find any of the metal parts that were left over from the aircraft. I hazard to guess that there's not a lot left over considering that it was a fabric skin aircraft on, on a chromium steel frame and, and I believe that they took most of the aircraft out um, afterwards obviously for spares and, and to, to um, dispose of the rest of the airframe. What do you reckon? Should we go and try and find some bits? It's, it's going to look at the stone now. Okay, let's go and have a look at the stone now. So they built this uh, lovely little memorial here on the site, um, which is very nice to see. Um, it reads, on April 4th, 1942, at 2 p.m., two airmen, uh, leading aircraft from JW Masters and Sergeant M.W. Souter, on a flight from Daniloquin to Laverton in a Wirraway A20-265, died here when their plane crashed in fog, lest we forget. Just keep in mind that the details on the plaque are incorrect. Got a little bit of a disclaimer, I am not a professional metal detector, so um, yeah, I don't particularly know what I'm doing, but um, I hope that this would have helped. Obviously they did a really good job of cleaning up the crash site. Well unfortunately the, the search for aircraft parts was fairly fruitless. Um, noted that this air, air crash site is fairly accessible, so they would have uh, been able to take all of the aircraft away um, and leave nothing out here in the bush, but it was good to come here. Um, learn a little bit about uh, these men and their story and be able to tell it to you guys.